Here in a world where all hope seems lost Greater is He who resides in us God we stand unshaken Hey there, welcome to the sermon preview for this week. I'm Nick and this is Morgan. Uh, and this week we are going to be continuing on in our series that we're in in 1 Thessalonians. So Morgan, tell us a little bit about uh, maybe where we've been in this, this series so far. Yeah, so um, previously uh, we went over how um, Paul was visiting his dearest friends, the Thessalonians, and um, the, pers the persecution that they've mm -hmm. experienced and um, he's just full of joy that they have um, continued to just stand tall and be uh, unshaken. Yeah, so. right, right. Yeah, so the title of our series is Unshaken. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is our third week already. Mm -hmm. Crazy somehow. These series just fly by. I don't understand. Um, mm -hmm. But so we're in our third week, and we're going to be looking at 1 Thessalonians 2, verses 13 through 16. Mm -hmm. So it's a shorter passage. The last few have been a little bit longer. Um, and this is an interesting passage. Last week, Paul was kind of defending his ministry, was talking a little mm -hmm. bit about himself and how he, uh, the different ways that he had ministered to the Thessalonians. Mm -hmm. But then moving into verse 13, he switches the focus back to them mm -hmm. and he gives thanks again. Mm -hmm. He has this joy for who they are and how they have um, uh, withstood the persecution. But mm -hmm. he specifically in this passage is thankful for how they have received the word of God, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, and we see in this that um, they they did not receive it just as a regular uh, regular words from a from a man, but they mm -hmm. recognized the authority in which Paul was speaking mm -hmm. and the um, the news of Jesus, the gospel coming to them as being something from God, mm -hmm. right? Um, and so they received these as the word of God, which is just incredible to see how the Thessalonians um, received this. And then later in the passage talks again about the persecution that they experienced mm -hmm. and how they stood firm in that. They remained mm -hmm. unshaken. So um, kind of two movements in this passage. We have the Thessalonian Christians who receive, they hear and accept mm -hmm. the word of God. And then at the the last part of the passage we see in the Jews uh, who were jealous who they heard Paul they heard everything that he had said mm -hmm. uh, but they rejected it and they continued to persecute so um, Morgan uh, what what's a story in the pat in the Bible that we see that maybe relates to this passage uh, in in some way yeah so when we were reading this we thought of the two foundations mm -hmm. um, where the wise man he accepted the word and he lived out the word um, and then there was a the foolish man who uh, received the word and rejected it. Right, yeah. So we have this, uh, the wise man, uh, this, a parable from Jesus, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and the wise man who has this uh, foundation, this solid rock, and then the foolish man who it uses the word sand, you know, mm -hmm. building his house on a beach type of yeah. thing, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and so we, yeah, we see these two different, mu these two different movements where the, um, Thessalonians, they received it, they built their foundation on mm -hmm. the rock, mm -hmm. uh, and they were unshaken, right? Yeah. yeah, we see this. Like in the mm -hmm. persecution, they stood firm in what they were facing, right? They stood firm in their faith. Um, and so, uh, yeah, just really cool, a, a cool connection. So Morgan uh, is actually... Uh, doing a, a Sunday school uh, class for one of our adult classes where she's working through some of the parables in mm -hmm. Matthew. Um, and so that was one that she taught on just a couple weeks ago, right? Yep. Yeah. So uh, really cool, a cool connection, cool parallel there between this passage of Paul and this, par and this parable from Jesus. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think this week as you are preparing for this passage, obviously read through it, uh, maybe in a couple different translations, but think about this idea of have you uh, received and accepted uh, the scriptures, what we see in the scriptures as the true word of God? Um, there's a lot of implications to that. Yeah. When we accept it and receive it as that, as the true word of God, that has a lot of implications for our life uh, and vice versa. If mm -hmm. we don't accept that as that, it has a lot of implications negatively for mm -hmm. our life. So, uh, so I'm excited for this Sunday. Uh, it should be wonderful to uh, dig into this passage again with you to study and see what God has for us from 1 Thessalonians. Yeah. Okay. See ya. Nothing to fear in the battlefield. God is our hope.